Okay, I'm installing a virtual private network today, Hotspot Shield. You got the executable downloading now. Now they have this for Mac or for Windows, but I'm installing it right now in basically my Windows virtual machine. But if, if you do if you are running Windows, this will be fine. If you're running a Macintosh, you can install that as well. I wanted to show you guys the Windows version today because most people in China are going to be running Windows. Let's just pop open this executable file here and install it. Next, accept the user agreement. Now you can install the Hotspot Shield toolbar here. I chose not to. But it's up to you. Now while that's installing, uh, just a word about censorship in China. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here that you can't access, a lot of sensitive content, and this will allow you to, to see it all, basically. Um, also, some other websites where you need a, a US IP to be able to view content, this will allow you to watch those as well. And I'll show you that in a minute. But let's just launch it. And basically when you launch it, it launches in the browser. I got Firefox open here now. And you can see it's just gonna basically give me an IP. And so now I can basically browse anonymously or wherever I want. And I'm just gonna go to China Digital Times, which is a basically a website that the Chinese government doesn't particularly like, but uh, I think it's a great source for news. They have some really good, really good news here on China, but it's blocked. Now, the thing with, with Hotspot Shield is that they serve an ad on the top of the page. Now, this is a small price to pay to be able to view whatever content you want in China. You know, there are other options for circumventing the Great Firewall, as they say. Uh, tour button is one, but I think this is a little bit better. I don't mind the ad. You can always pay for a VPN, but this one works well. It's free. Now, I'm just going to Hulu.com, which is basically NBC's uh, media website. And you can watch a lot of NBC shows here on the internet, and, and it works beautifully. So I'll just go and check out the Daily Show. And again, normally I would be able to get on the Hulu website. It's not censored. But, you know, because my IP address would show that I'm in China, Hulu would not allow me to watch it. I don't know why they do that. But in any case, now my computer's showing it's who it's making Hulu think that I'm in the US and it's allowing this this video to stream now they're not ad free either I have to watch Brook Shields and Colgate toothpaste for 15 seconds which is not so terrible I prefer if it was more Brook Shields and less toothpaste but there you go now my computer is going to be a little bit slower than most people's because I'm running this on, as I said, a virtual machine, which my the RAM that I have allocated to this is not so much, just 512. And uh, your computer, I would say, most likely is going to have at least that, possibly a gig or two. But anyway, there's John Stewart doing what he does best, buffering. And uh, but yeah, normally if I run this in Mac OS on the normal Mac operating system it runs like a dream and if you have it on a Windows machine, a normal Windows machine, it should run well as as well. Should be fine. There's Barack Obama. Vote for that guy. I'm not American but if I was I would vote for him. I would not vote for McCain. He reminds me of a raisin. <laughs> 